let's get into the side income budget for the month of July. If you want to see what I was able to earn with my It's D brand and various apps that I use on my phone, let's hop into it and see what I was able to earn. Let's get into this budget with me for my side income for July. Now for my side income, I do not budget any money for it. So I just fill in the actual column on my planner. And I wanted to say thank y'all so much for continue supporting me and my channel. If you're interested in low income budgeting, paying off debt, investing, and more, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave me a comment down below and say, hey, Amazon, I was able to make a total of $1.07, and this was from my affiliate link that I have down below for Soul Mama. Here that I have from Soul Mama, and I do share this on my cash stuffing slash seven challenges video if you're interested in so mama is always linked down below they have a variety of binders envelopes and more if you're interested so once again thank you thank you so much for the person who used my affiliate link for so mama and for apps and these are various apps that i have on my phone that I use to make extra money. Part of a series for members, and I will be posting different posts explaining all the apps that I use in detail. So you're interested in learning more about the apps that I use, you can sign up for a membership for $1.99 a month to gain access to that detailed description of how I use each individual app and I will be doing that on a monthly basis until I get through all of the apps that I use. So yeah, if you want to know more information, join my membership and we'll be going over that. All right, so for the month, I was able to earn $65.55. So yeah, yeah. Now this is the total cash that I was able to earn. Now this does not include gift cards. I do also earn gift cards, but on my side income, I only include my cash because I use the cash equivalents to help me pay down debt and to save. So if you want to see the total amount that I earned with apps for the month of July, make sure you go watch my monthly mortgage update video and i share there the total amount i was able to make with apps and next for buy me a coffee i was able to make four dollars and 69 cents on etsy i was able to make nine dollars and 87 cents on youtube i was able to make seven dollars and 60 cents now, the $7.60 came from my YouTube store. So, thank you so much for the person who purchased my digital copy of my Debt Tracker book. I do have now all of my books I have available on Amazon. I have the digital copies available on my YouTube store. And I also have my budgeting and savings planner available and two brand stickers available on my store if you're interested in that um it's not an app but i earned a total of ten dollars and this ten dollars came from a email company where they send you email daily and you get points for doing certain tasks as in certain opening emails or you can click on and shop through like Rakuten and get points for actually shopping through that link and it is called my points I have been a part of my points for a long time and I usually cash out maybe once a year so it's not very lucrative because if I shopped online a lot then I would be able to earn more but I don't really do a lot of shopping online and yeah y'all so i was able to cash out 
for $10 for them. Now let's see what I was able to make for the month. So that's 107 plus 65.55 plus 4.69 plus 9.87 plus 7.60 plus $10. And that is a total of $98.78 I will be allocating today within this video. Okay, so next section is the bills section. And I stopped disclosing my tides, so I will not be sharing that on my channel anymore. But I allocated a total of $82 to go towards my mortgage. So... A lot of this money came from the different apps that I use and the amount of this section of bills is a total of $82. Now I'm going to take the $82 and subtract it from what I earned, which was $98.78 minus $82. Now I have a remaining of $16.78 to allocate. The next section I will be going over is the savings and investing section and i did not do anything towards renovation household or car repairs moving forward until i be able to establish a more stable income i will just be doing saving challenges and as i finish those saving challenges i will allocate the money to whatever special fund or area that i need to add to at the time that i finish the challenge for my Treat Yourself account, and this is the account I will be using once I get my mortgage paid off, and I'm going to treat myself to something I don't know yet, but I was able to add a total of $3.78, and this money comes basically from the change from all of my deposits, so if I get a dollar and seven cents, that seven cents is going into my treat yourself account. So this is a passive way that I'm adding to this account. And for my HD, and this is for my HD brand, I actually use this money to mail out some happy mail over the the month of July. So this is my account that I use to give back to y'all and to bring out more products and what have you for my brand and lastly for challenges i was able to allocate a total of three dollars let's see what this adds up to so 3.78 plus ten dollars plus three dollars is a total of sixteen dollars and 78 cents and you see up here that's what i had left and that is a total of zero dollar mating now i do do a zero based budget and this is just the way I, that i prefer to budget i like to make sure that all of my income has a place and has a job so have a playlist of how i budget so if you're interested in budgeting i will suggest clicking my budget with me playlist to see more of a breakdown if you want to know more about budgeting. Now I will be getting into the double check to make sure that I do actually have a zero based budget. And that is in this last section, which is the breakdown to make sure that I allocated my money correctly. So my income was a total of $98.78 a total of $82. I did not have any expenses and my savings and investing section came up to a total of $16.78. I'm going to take my income which was $98.78 minus is $82 minus is $16.78 for my savings and investing and that becomes zero. So that is my zero base budget thank y'all so much for helping support my channel and thank you for your encouraging words as this has been a very low income earning year for me thus far and i'm just trying to i'm just trying to make it now 
but thank y'all thank y'all so much i did now, my no spins for the month of july and probably throughout the remainder of the year will include not spending on snacks at self checkout because this is one of my areas where i was overspending in the prior years and since my income is reduced significantly um right now i decided to do a low spend year so I am excited to say I have not bought any snacks at self-checkout. Today is Saturday that I'm recording this video. So as of today, I'm hoping to have a complete 31 days of no spending. Woo! Show y'all something that I made. And this is a orders tracker. I want to see if I can get an order from every state of the United States. Here, I'm doing pretty good with the states, and um, yeah, I'm excited. I also did get two international orders thus far, one from Canada and one from Australia, so that is exciting. This is something new that I'm tracking just to, you know, just to see. And y'all, my next videos that will be coming up to my channel will be my monthly dividends video i will be starting back sharing my dividends for um, my investing that i have and i will be sharing that monthly on my channel so that will be coming up soon i also will be recording my plan for paying off my mortgage within one year i am at that point right now where i am about one year away from my goal of having my mortgage paid off by August 24th. And I will have a small savings challenge video also coming up. Again, I wanted to say thank you, thank you so much for helping me and supporting my channel. I am currently still working on my 4,000 watch hours at the recording of this video. I'm around 3,500 little over 3,500 hours, so thank you so much for everybody who's continued to watch my playlist. And I am also working on my 1,000 subscribers. At the recording of this video, I'm around 876 or somewhere around there. So thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for sticking with me and rocking with me. If you ever have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section, and I will get back with you. Thank y'all so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, once I hit those 4K watch hours, I have a big surprise. Don't forget to make the money, but don't let the money make you. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave me a hashtag Canada, because I got a couple orders from Canada. All right. Thank y'all so much. Bye.